So in the previous video, we have uh, ended with uh, formulas for unpowered flight of uh, unpowered flight or glide. So let us uh, expand or let us uh, dig deeper into this into those uh, formulas. Let's say, for example, for our minimum glide path angle, it is equal to the arc tangent of one over CL over C sub D max. Okay. Also, we have uh, R max. The maximum range is equal to the height where your glider was uh, launched times uh, CL over CD max. Okay. So my question now is, how are we going to uh, solve for CL over CD max? Okay. How do we mathematically determine this ratio? So if we will apply, you no, know, if we will apply our uh, parabolic drag equation, we will use our parabolic drag equation, and that is equal to C D is equal to C D sub O plus C L squared over pi A E. Okay, your C D sub O is your uh, parasitic drag. And your uh, CL squared over pi AE is your drag due to your lift. Okay? So, if we will get CL over CD, CL over CD, so that would be C sub L over CD, CD sub O plus CL squared over pi, uh, pi AE. So, this is the ratio. But we want to get the maximum ratio. So how do we do that? We do that by applying what we have learned in uh, differential calculus, which is uh, getting the first derivative and setting it to zero. So from this, since uh, CL is our uh, independent variable, then we will simply uh, get the derivative of this ratio with respect to C sub L. Okay, so we will get the derivative with respect to C sub L for the ratio C L over C D sub O plus C L squared over pi A E. Okay, so for that we will have to uh, remember or recall first what is our derivative of a uh, quotient. The derivative of a quotient, I'll just write it here inside this box for you to recall. The derivative of u over v is equal to v u prime minus u v prime all over v squared. Okay, so we have the denominator c d sub o plus c l squared over pi a e. Then derivative of c l. With respect to CL, so that is equal to 1. Then we uh, subtract, uh, subtract CL by the derivative of the denominator. Okay? So your CD sub O, your CD sub O is uh, constant. That is a constant that is already given. So derivative of a constant is 0. And then the term CL squared over pi AE, no? For that term, we have uh, 1 over pi AE as a uh, constant as well. So if we will get the derivative of uh, CL squared, so that would be 2CL. Right? And then we get the square of our denominator. So CD sub O plus CL squared over pi AE plus quantity squared. And then we will uh, equate this to zero, okay, from this uh, concept. So we have zero equals, so we have CD sub O plus CL squared over pi AE, we multiply one, and then here we have two, two CL squared over pi AE, okay, and then over CD sub O plus CL squared over pi AE squared. So since this is equal to 0, if I will cross multiply my denominator 
to 0, then that is simply equal to 0. And I would be left with CD sub O plus CL squared over pi AE minus 2 CL squared over pi AE. These two are, uh, we can we can subtract, you know, and we will come up with 0 is equal to CD sub O minus CL squared over pi AE. CL squared over pi AE. And then therefore, CL squared over pi AE would be equal to your CD sub O. CL squared is uh, pi AE times CD sub O. And therefore, CL is equal to the square root of pi AE CD sub O. So, for our uh, CL over CD to, to be maximum, mathematically, CL should be equal to pi AE over CD sub O. And then, how about for CD? What would be the uh, equivalent for CD? CD is equal to CD sub O plus CL squared over pi AE. So, substituting the... Uh, Substituting this one to CL squared, that would result to pi AE CD sub O all over pi AE. So pi AE will be cancelled out and you'll have 2 CD sub O as the equivalent of CD. So to get, so we can now get the ratio, we can now get the ratio. CL over CD max. Okay. CL is equal to the square root of uh, pi AE CD sub O while CD is equal to 2 CD sub O. So if we will, uh, if we will try to uh, put them all under one square root then that would be pi AE CD sub O over CD sub O squared. Huh? Therefore, canceling, you can cancel CD sub O in the numerator. And the final formula, CL over CD max, would now be equal to 1 half times the square root of pi AE over CD sub O. So let's uh, put a box there. Pi AE over CD sub O. 1 half times the square root of pi AE over CD sub O. Now, remember, uh, just a quick review. A quick review as well. No, A is your... A is our... Uh, A is your aspect ratio. E is your Oswald's efficiency. Okay, and uh, again, your CD sub O is your uh, parasite drag. And your uh, CL squared over uh, pi AE. Pi AE is your uh, drag due to lift. So just a uh, review, no? of uh, the quantities that uh, we have used here in uh, solving for CL over CD max.